Hello, I'm Horn Reaper, and today I'll tell you about all details of console. Actually, it's related with all Valve games. So let's start with base. How to use console? If it's turned off, it's clear that all the versions of CS and Half-Life have console all the time. But since Half-Life 2, developers added ability of turning off. So if you want to turn on, you should go to the options, keyboard, advanced, and check the enable developer console. In case of CSGO, this checkbox is in the games section of options. If we are starting to type command in console, it offers available commands. You can use them by tab key or change it by keyboard arrows. And of course, enter key in order for enter. And if you write some wrong, you'll see this kind of message. Console will repeat unknown part of your command. You can repeat last command by the up arrow key. If you need second to last, you should use it twice and so on. So the console is almost programming environment and can admit only English language. Old versions of Life and CS doesn't admit non-English letters at all, but now Steam versions can take it, but only as a name of players, commands, demos, and so on. There are a lot of variables in game console, but some of them is not allowed to change it or the changing is limited. For example, freeze time. 5 seconds set. But if you want something between 5 and 6, you should separate fractional part of number by the period key, don't use comma. If you type too big value, the console will change it to nearest adequate itself. If you delete all, after command's name, you'll see the current value. You can highlight your value by quotes, but it's not necessary for one parameter. But if command admits several parameters, for example just of crosshair color, or cheat command and fire, in these cases quotes are necessary. Also extra spaces will be ignored by console. What about symbols admitted by console of any game at any age from Valve? Of course, all English letters, numbers, and almost all signs. And let's consider this almost. Comma. You know, it's the one sign which became supported since Half-Life 2. It's not yet allowed to use in CS 1.6. And now forbidden signs in all consoles. Round brackets, curly brackets, columns. And what is happening if console meet one of it? Console is simply ignoring all signs after first sign of this kind. And it's so visible here. The console repeats only one sign. You can call a full list of commands. See var list collects all variables. CMD list is a commands list. As you see, it's a huge number of commands. In CSGO you can call it by only one command. But it's so many that don't fit in console. All commands before SV are not shown. So there are one tool created. Type a letter after command, and you'll see only those commands that start with this letter. Also, some commands admit asterisk as a parameter. For example, maps shows all available maps. And now let's consider the most useful thing of console: pints and aliases. If you type complicated command without parameters, you'll see some tips. What should you type further, and in what order? Actually, it's not dependence on kind of letters you're typing. But in case of single English letters as name of key, you should use only small letters. So bind command allows you to bind any key to the any command. First parameter is name of key. 
Second is command. You should use spaces between them. By the way, if you bind your command with plus at beginning, doubles command with minus will be automatically binded to the releasing of this key. But you can make it manually at any time. And now Elias. Elias allows you to create new commands and attach it to standard command. The first parameter is name of new command. The next is attributing known commands. But in this case you can think about minus function in another Elias. Otherwise it would seem that space key got stuck. Now consider the case where you need the quotes. For example, creating a list of typing message in console. Command name is echo. If you want use several commands, you should use semicolon. This is the one sign which makes clear for console that you are listing something. Second command we use is, for example, simple chat message. So we have created a command named with one letter, then binding it to same letter. And if you press P, you'll see message in chat and console both. By the way, if you don't require automatic binding of minus command, you can use one trick. Add the semicolon right before plus sign. But in this case you'll get some problem. You'll get continuously running player. And you'll have to turn off it manually. So take a live hack. How to kill any game from Valve by several letters. For this you need simple alias, including new command referred to itself. And after calling it, the game will meet with big shit. And further known screen. Here is similarly. You can't win. Hey guys, my game cracked up, otherwise I would win, I sure. Well, enough useful command. You can save all your binds, addresses and other commands to the one file. As you know, named config. But different games differently saves it. For example, in CSGO, this command named as host write config. After that, type the name of file. In CS16, this command is some easier. Write CFG. For executing this file, you need next command. Exec. But in 1.6 you should type point .cfg in addition. Next theme, where are these files? In case of 1.6, it's a folder C-Strike. In Steam version, it's located in Half-Life folder, where Steam is installed. You can see the road upper. But in case of CSGO, config will be created not in Steam Apps folder. But as Steam, user data, concentration of figures, 730, local, save G. You can open it by usual note and add it all you want. Now about the keys. There is one definite name for each key in programming environment. Command unbind all must be at beginning of the file, which means cancelling all previous binds and previous configs. Here you see all keys and its names.
Definite designations of keyboard arrows are right here. Mouse keys. M heel down is moving down of mouse heel. Next is moving up. Mouse 1 is a fire key or left button. Mouse 2 right button. Mouse 3 is pressing of heel and then it depends on abilities of your mouse and amount of extra keys. Next group of keys is on the right part of keyboard. There are no ability to bind num lock, scroll lock or print screen. Next information you can apply, for example, as a joke on your friend. For that you need to get his config by stealth. Although if he spotted you, you can say I know the command to play like a pro. Then add this command to his config discreetly. Command of executing his config. Eventually, your friend anytime executing his config will recall and thank you. And now, due to this knowledge, let's consider some abilities. Firstly, simplest script, working on all versions. Duck jump script. For that you need Bind and key to the new command with plus sign. Now you need two aliases, case of plus DJ and minus DJ. Plus DJ means plus duck and plus jump. And similarly with minus signs. Don't forget that semicolon is a list and sign. So here is one of example duck jump. Now we script using wait command. This command is deleted in CSGO, so we'll make this script on CS1.6. This command forces the game to wait for one frame inside the script. Duration of this frame depends on your FPS, so this sort of script is sensitive to the FPS. For those who is in tank, I recall, FPS is frames per second, not on your monitor and not on this video, but in your game. Command CL show FPS shows this value. In this case, we've created P command to another fire mode, which allows you to shoot by only one shot with any gun you shoot in, as sort of one shot script. Bind to the mouse and check it. Done it. It's my habit to shoot something alive. But why the pistol? Let's check it on machine gun. Even if you press your mouse by leg, you'll be able to make only single shots anyway. So this is the end for now. Thank you for watching and see you soon.